Hey everybody, welcome back to Faith Works Farmstead. The kids and I need to do some major fallerizing of our garden. We actually are going to be moving our greenhouse today. One of the things that I've noticed as um, I've been gardening is that we have soaker hoses back um, where the greenhouse is and we have a whole section where the soaker hose is actually just watering the pavers that sits underneath the greenhouse. I'm just giving you a little rundown of what's in this garden. All right, y'all, we gotta get this greenhouse moved over here. So we have to move all of this stuff here. Jackson, bring the um, weed eater so we can weed eat over here and some gloves. We're gonna have to have, to, have, to have gloves on. We're going to pull all this um, cucumber out. Let's pull all the cucumber out. It's just not the right environment for it. It's not getting watered enough over here. There's uh, weeds over here. All this can be pulled. This can all be pulled. Just bring some gloves, please. So here Jackson and I are just putting on some gloves. We're getting ready to try to clean out some of the weed pressure. Um, I probably need to remulch in here. And Jackson's trying to get his glove on. He found a lizard on the inside of that glove. And because Jackson has such a soft heart, he does not want to kill the lizard. He wants to give it an opportunity to continue to live its lizard life. However, as uh, he continues to work it out of the finger of the glove, we do realize that Mr. Lizard has succumbed to life Um inside of the rubber glove it was it's been there for i'm sure for a while um, our time was really running short because we needed to get the dog walked and all kinds of other things here i am of course giving all these directions and jackson is still trying to get that little lizard out he doesn't realize that the lizard has succumbed at this point he still thinks it's in there and um you know we are doing all the things we got to get sister a pair of an, another pair of garden boots. She grew out of her garden boots. Jackson is wearing his. Oh, look, Mr. Lizard. If you don't like dead lizards, just ignore that part. Jackson's wearing his garden boots. Mom has on her garden boots, but sister grew out of hers. So I've got to get her another pair. And so we're just trying to make some space. This is not the most ideal place for my greenhouse. I don't love it in this particular area. However, I want to maintain or to gain that garden space in the back where the greenhouse is right now. So Jackson, of course, is just pulling out whatever weeds we can find. And then sister and I, we are just taking any of the old plants out of our planters and we are throwing that soil back into our soil barrel. We are actually out of soil at the moment. So we are trying to uh, recoup some soil and I'm going to go back and refresh that soil when it's time to start replanting plants again. But I didn't want to lose it, so I put everything back into the barrel. And of course, um, like I said, Jackson is still working on weeding. We do have some intense weed pressure around some of the uh, garden beds. And um, right there where those weeds are, we do have ants. So I was telling Jackson to be careful because I did put some diatomaceous earth down there just to kill some of the ants, and it did kill them. I probably need to treat it again, but it had been raining, and so I don't want to treat it and it just get washed away by the rain. But those are all of our empty um, planters, and we are just, Sister and I are uh, cleaning out everything from the greenhouse so that we can move it.
It's been a tremendous blessing to have Jackson. He helps me with all of the power tool things. Sister helps as well, but she does not use the power tools. It's not her fave area. And of course, here I am still pulling weeds, but sister's very helpful in other ways. She is a, sister is a workhorse. I'm a workhorse. My mother was like that. Um, Shamika's a workhorse. Jackson is not so much. Sister can outwork him, but there are things that he just does like the power tools and stuff. I'll use the weed eater with no problem, but the way my mind and body is set up, I just am always doing things. I'm, I'm moving things. I'm doing things. And then, of course, we have one guard dog and one garden dog. This, of course, is our garden dog, Gwen. And Gwen is always trying to be in the way of things. Uh, my sister, who has Cash, Cash is a car dog. And they go all the time. Gwen is a garden dog. So I'm going back here behind uh, this greenhouse and just really trying to pull out as much of the weed pressure as I can. So if you see where sister is standing on the other side of her foot is where we have the soca hose. And when we turn them on, it just wets up the pavers. I'm figuring I could get some more uh, row space there. So I'm going to try my best to build up a row there between the two outside rows that I have already. And there is tremendous uh, weed pressure. My neighbor, whose fence you see, she has a ton of vining plants. And they're really helpful in the winter, in the in the springtime, spring and summer, because they do bring pollinators, but they also attach to everything on our side of the fence. They attach to our plants, they attach to the greenhouse, they attach to the cinder blocks. And um, we are just always trying to get rid of them. So here it is starting to rain and we're losing our uh, opportunity to work. So I just told the kids, make sure all of our fertilizers and tools were back into the greenhouse before the rain started to fall as I'm still trying to weed. <laughs> so we wanted to put everything back in there that the rain could affect negatively. And we're going to come back out and work on this another day. So that is what the kids are working on right now. Day two has arrived, and of course, we did not get a clip of the greenhouse being moved because the kids moved the greenhouse, and they're the filmers. I was doing some other stuff. And so Jackson is now taking that um, shovel and getting underneath those pavers there, and we're moving them down towards the other end of the garden. We do want the greenhouse on top of the pavers so that when it does rain, we're not walking into uh, wet mulch or, you know, uh, mulch that is overly wet. So um, I'm still working on weeds and I had a, a zucchini squash that died. I was looking for boars. I didn't see any. I think it's just because we haven't watered real well. So I'm going to try to go back in and water. So here I found a couple of... Um, um, pot oven mitts from the Dollar Tree and it's helping me to get the prickers out because there's a ton of prickers which are like the um, the thorn thorny vines or thorny you know uh, weeds and so I'm trying not to get pricked but those weeds bother me I like a nice clean space a clean garden and so um, I'm just trying to get out as much of that weed pressure as possible in the meantime, I'm helping Jackson move pavers as well. And then, of course, Sister jumps in. My kids are very helpful. They would not naturally come out and work in the garden. That is not what they would do on their own. But when I say, okay, y'all, I need time in the garden, they just come out. We have established family routines and things that we do, and it has just worked for us.
as we are working, I do realize that I am missing a few pavers. And then Jackson found one that had been buried under the mulch. So he found the extra oversized paver. And I actually went back to get four small pavers. So we actually put in eight additional 12 inch pavers just so we would make sure that the greenhouse was uh, sitting on top of the pavers. Um, and that worked out real well. So again, the kids are working with me to get all the things put back right. And for all you Gwen fans, there is the Princess Gwen. I did come out later and do a reel where I picked the lettuce. I'm gonna wash that, bag that up today. And I'm gonna also be making some cowboy candy this, this evening uh, to see if I can get that canned. But that's, the kids and I are just um, trying to get everything back into the greenhouse now that we can get into the greenhouse and i'm going to take a few minutes you'll see me in a minute still working on weed pressure um over on that last row we did have some weed pressure that i'm just trying to get out of the garden i am going to have to remulch in that area but it's all going to be well so i'm not going to worry about it i'm just going to do what i have to do when i have to do it right that's how um that's how you do things around, right? It's it's just, it's a garden work in progress. I actually saw Tequisha over at Our Freedom Song, and she was talking about beautifying your garden, which is, I'm trying to find garden peace, garden love. I love the garden, but I'm just really trying to find garden peace and love. So I needed to run out and get a few more pavers. So the, the kids are now taking some time to put all the things out i asked jackson to go ahead and put our tomato cages out because next year i'm going to put the tomatoes on the other end of the garden they don't need to be watered as often and the soaker hoses will work what i'm going to use the tomato cages for are cucumbers and beans i'm going to get runner beans instead of bush beans um, and i just asked him to put them out into the garden boxes uh, raised beds so that they'll be there when I'm ready to do cucumbers and um, runner beans. I'm going to put a different watering system on the first front side of the garden, whereas I'm only watering my tomatoes every couple of days because they don't love a lot of water. And so that's what I'm going to try to do. So I don't need the cages for that. And then as you can tell in the video, it is progressively getting darker because we came out to work. It was a little bit later. Of course, um, we had friends over for Sunday lunch and that took up some time. And so again, we're just trying to get those few things done before it is time to um, come in for the evening. But again, the kids are extremely helpful to me in all the things that I need to get done around the homestead, the farmstead, the garden. I am seriously considering a few chickens but I need to check to make sure that I, I will not be against the code if I had chickens um, or anything of that nature. But I just thought it was neat how we started off and it was daylight and now it is progressively getting a little bit darker as the kids are working to finish up some things here in the garden. And so I'm just gonna take you around and give you a little view of what we did. Again, I love those tomato cages in the garden. Um, I've got that weed pressure out from behind those cinder blocks and then of course we move that greenhouse all the way to the other end this is uh we've got some lettuce i've cut down our lettuce our zucchini squash is there and then we have still a few peppers left i've got some uh, beans growing and then this is the greenhouse thank y'all for stopping by